Latina. I'm a Mexican American. I'm the daughter of two Mexican immigrants. Uh, and I, I think I may be one of the only, if not the only, Latina in late night television. Um, there's so few women as it is, um, and there's so few Latinos in general, and so to, to be a woman who has that kind of background um, is important to me, and, and I'm really proud of my Mexican background, and it's not something that I've always been super proud of, um, I'm, uh, you know, because there's stigmas about being Mexican, and one thing that I, I talk about candidly on the show is there was a period where I was very in denial of being Mexican, and people were like, what is Barra? What is that? And I'm like, oh, it's para and it's an Italian last name, it's not Mexican. As a kid growing up, I was like, really? Just because, you know, Mexicans, especially when you have people like Donald Trump who are constantly saying negative things about Mexicans, it's a real, it's a real problem. But as I got older, in fact, there was a period where I went to a public middle school. And that was really what, what changed it for me when I went from prep school to public school. In Houston, Texas, which is a super diverse place where I'm from, uh, public schools are, are, the vast majority of kids who go to public school are, are minorities. And it was the first time that I'd been in a school with people who looked like me and with lots of Vietnamese kids and black kids and um, uh, you know Chinese kids and kids who, who were not just the sort of blonde haired blue eyed kids that I've gone to school with um, in elementary school. And that was when I was like, oh, okay, all right, so this is actually what the world looks like. This is much more normal than the people that I went to this, this small private school with. I got to see my father transition from being just another worker at this company to being an entrepreneur. And in doing so, there are lots of hardships that come with that, uh, primarily financial hardships. And so he, uh, you know, we, we didn't have money for private school anymore, which is great. Then I went to, pu to public school and that uh, experience of seeing my parents go through midlife career changes and really pursue their dreams set me on a path not only of experiencing diversity for the first time, but also of being like, oh, hey, you can pursue what you really want. You can actually go after those passions that you've been wanting, even if you're in your late 40s, early 50s. It doesn't present challenges in terms of um, having to express my voice. I, feel, I do feel very comfortable because I, you know the great thing about the nightly show is that there's a ton of different minorities and a lot of different backgrounds on the show. So most people are kind of coming from a place of having understand, of being able to understand what it feels like to be in a marginalized demographic. But one thing also is that just because I'm Hispanic, just because I'm a woman, doesn't mean that the only things that I can talk about are about being Hispanic and about being a woman. Because my parents immigrated here to be here because they had such an intense desire to be American citizens that I have, I, have, I, I feel not an obligation to take part, but I feel like a, a, an intense desire to take part in politics. And um, that's the thing I wish I could impart to more Latinos, which is just like, you know, we're, we're valuable, but what's important is that we take advantage of the opportunities afforded to us as citizens.